Welcome to the 2024 first annual Big Gravel Grind event. We are so excited to have everybody here on this beautiful day in Bedford, Ontario. My name is Dan Tice. I am the founder of Husky Hustle Cycling Club out of Sarnia, Ontario. Today we have two very exciting routes. We have a 40 kilometer route and an 80 kilometer route. Well, Husky Hustle is a team uh, It was created by my friend uh, Jamie Hastings and I. Uh, we created this uh, club to be an inclusive club for all types of riders, whether you ride a mountain bike, gravel bike, road bike, leisure bike, whatever. You just enjoy riding your bike. So this is why we started it. Blue Water International Grand Fondo came to us, asked us if we wanted to put a gravel grind event on. Of course, we were so happy to say yes. With all of their experience, with their amazing team, we were able to put this all together so quickly. Like you're talking three months here, we put this together. So uh, yeah, very excited. The uh, gravel is catching on a lot because people are getting a little concerned with the amount of cars on the roads now. And gravel gets you out in touch with nature more. It's considered a safer environment with the lack of cars. For me, it's about not necessarily riding with a group of people and trying to do pace lines and pace riding. This is really single file. Um, gravel is going to be different. So I'm taking this more from a recreational perspective than a competitive perspective. So I have been a cycling advocate in Sarnia for maybe 30 years. And previous, everybody has always said there's no cyclists. Uh, one of the things that the Grand Fondo has done is brought cycling to a critical mass in this area. So no one can say there's no cyclists now. Every uh, event that we have is filled. This event, a uh, great first start, at around 200 people in this event, that's really great. The difference with gravel is you get a whole different vibe on the course. You get to experience the rolling uh, hills and the scenery and it's just a completely different vibe. A little bit more of a challenge uh, on the bike because the gravel can be, you know, a little loose or something, but we've got a pretty nice hard packed course. We've got some nice rolling hills, so a uh, little longer, it takes a little longer, but it's, uh, it's definitely a great experience as well. Both, both are great experiences, just a little bit different country vibe going with the gravel. It's the reason why I'm getting involved is, I mean, obviously love cycling, <laughs> part of the big group as well. Um, but yeah, just, I know this is good for, for a good cause as well and in memory of Jamie, so uh, appreciate the opportunity to kind of participate and uh, remember his legacy. Father-son duo out here for the first inaugural Big Gravel Grind. It, uh, both of us have been close with the Hastings family for decades here now, so uh, yeah, just happy to support the cause here and great event thus far and looking forward to uh, many years to come. First gravel ride ever. So uh, somebody recruited me and loaned me uh, one of their gravel bikes. And so far I'm having a blast. It's a little bit trickier, they're running on uh, asphalt. Uh, but so far I've stayed upright and uh, really having, having a good time. We've done the Grand Fondo 100 a couple years in a row and it was a great experience. Big does an awesome job with their events and so we thought we'd try something different. I was apprehensive, he was encouraging. It's been great. We're halfway through and the best, the best is yet to come. Riding on pavement is faster and in some respects easier, but I like the gravel because the scenery's better mm -hmm. and uh, it's way more challenging way more. Uh, my favorite spot so far was the um, rail trail coming into Park Hill. It's a, it was a little bit gnarly with some, some mud and some bumps I didn't see, but yeah, it was a good time. And I just finished the 40k uh, gravel grind ride here and uh, beautiful pastoral land, a uh, well-marked course. It was amazing. Great volunteers on the course and uh, a lot of enthusiastic riders out there. It's a lot of fun. Ah, uh, well, I like three pieces of it, the flat bits, the shady bits, and uh, the downhill bits. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it was a nice ride. It was my first gravel ride. Um, I love the countryside. Um, I think maybe one car might have passed, and that was it. A little bit um, on the rail trail, um, which uh, was nice, but again, beautiful day, beautiful ride. The, uh, the course markings were superlative. Couldn't get lost if you tried. The uh, food at the aid stations was amazing. The people, the volunteers, absolutely every volunteer was cheery and uh, helpful. My first time, I will be back, and I have to say, if you've never done one, 
give it a try. It's non-competitive, it's so friendly, it's so social. You don't have to be a racer, you don't have to be a professional. You can come out and be very casual. There's a, a wide range of cyclists and abilities here and uh, you feel at home regardless of the level uh, that you cycle. These events are so important for the community. It gets people together from not just this region, but brings people into this region. I met people yesterday from Owen Sound, different clubs. Uh, you know, great sense of enthusiasm, camaraderie. Uh, you know, a lot of encouragement uh, to join, you know, events that they've got in their areas as well. So this is really building community, not only here, but uh, around the whole province. So it's pretty wonderful. People are commenting about the route and how fun it was. They love the rail trails. They love the hills. Perfect amount of challenge, scenery, everything. Uh, the food in there is going great. We got muck off here, washing bikes for people. We got Hayden Mellon playing guitar on there. Everything has went really well and we couldn't be any more excited. I am so thankful to every single volunteer sponsor that has helped us out today. We would not have been able to do that without them. So we're thinking like, wow, if we were able to do this in a couple months, what will we be able to do in a year? So we're very excited to see what to show everybody what we can do. Gravel's a little bit more of a specialty, so not a lot of that. So I'm glad I'll be back next year. The funds collected today go towards We Are Active and Women's Herbal Home.